Hi, I'm Andrew Phelps, Director of the Oregon Office of Emergency Management, and welcome to our weekly watch report brought to you this week, as it is every week, by the Oregon Office of Emergency Management. I want to begin by providing an update of the status of the state's Emergency Coordination Center, or ECC. We remain active, as we have since March 2nd, in ongoing response efforts for the COVID-19 outbreak. We continue to engage with our federal partners like the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, and their partners at the federal level, Health and Human Services, to ensure that we're providing resources, support, and information to our state, local, and tribal partners to facilitate ongoing response efforts to COVID-19. Through the State Emergency Coordination Center, we're working with our Emergency Support Function Partners, or ESF agencies, like the Oregon Health Authority, the Department of Administrative Services for Logistics and Resource Support, uh, and communications support, as well as the Department of Human Services, or DHS, to provide mass care support services. Speaking of mass care, now's a great time to start talking about the fire season. We know that communities are impacted by fires every year here in Oregon, and very often that can mean evacuation and sheltering operations. That might look a little bit different this year in the COVID-19 environment. This week, we're convening all of our state, local, and tribal partners, as well as our federal partners, to continue ongoing planning efforts to ensure we can keep Oregonians safe if they are displaced from their homes due to a wildfire. Now, typically in years past, we work with the American Red Cross to establish shelters. This is pretty typical, and, and very often we see a lot of cots and gymnasiums and other congregant-type settings. That might not be practical uh, for every evacuation scenario during a COVID-19 outbreak. So we want to make sure we're set up to do non-congregant sheltering. This means perhaps providing folks with uh, hotel or motel rooms, while also making sure that we're protecting communities from wildfire. As Governor Brown announced last week, we're pushing a statewide pause button on reopening of counties here in the state of Oregon. This really is indicative of the notion that we're still in active response to COVID-19 and we need to continue doing all we can as a state and as communities to slow the spread of COVID-19. And finally, I want to acknowledge all the tremendous efforts of our emergency management partners, often working behind the scenes to protect their communities. And of course, every Oregonian for the work you've done and continue to do to protect yourselves, your families, and your communities during this outbreak. Well, that's all we've got for this time. Until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.